Hi everyone, Emmo here again and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. We're at the Foster Research Lab and we're going to see if we can get some more missions for the Acellus Primus Guild. They're the ones who give us missions for the Rebel Transmissions the other day that we were doing and we went and collected them for the past two episodes. So today we're going to see if we could go and do something a little bit different. Today... We are going to see if we could go and assassinate the Pirate Lord, Lindsay McClurg. Because it's going to give us 117,000 credits. Well, 117,514 credits. Which added on to the 112,000 credits that we have is going to give us a load of money. So that we should be able to start upgrading our ship. Because we're going to need to upgrade our ship soon anyway. So it says we need to assassinate one of the pirate lords, Lindsay McClurg, from the Erinin Federal Bridge. We expect the target to be in Erinin between 1345 and 1515. So it's going to be there in about 15 minutes. Collect your reward from me at the Foster Research Lab. Good luck, Commander M. Mao. So we've got to fly to the nav beacon. That's going to tell us where the, uh, the pirate's going to be. We're going to then have to fly and find her. And then destroy her, basically. So that's what we're going to do. And it's Lindsay McClurg of the Erinim Federal Bridge. Now, I don't know how many jumps this is going to be. So let's have a quick look. Right, we have got one jump, it looks like, to get to Erinim. So we could do that. We'll be there within way within the 15 minutes of the two-hour time frame that we're able to go and kill her in. So I think... What we'll do though, we'll only take that mission today and have the one concentration thing because we haven't really done any space fighting. This could be really good or this could turn out really, really bad. So let's leave the uh, Foster Research Lab and go back up to the, uh, to the takeoff pad. Thank you, Foster Research Lab. You've been hospitable again. We will be back in a little while after we've shot down this pirate hopefully so let's set our waypoint to where we're going as you know and then we've got to just take off really slowly again five minutes to take off so got plenty of time up we go just slightly and a bit further up right i think we're high enough to go forward now Let's just go slow so that we don't get done for speed. Landing gears up. We are now rocking and rolling. Okay, so we're facing the Erinin system. We'll wait for mass lock to go. Then we'll put on the frame drive. And then we'll jump to hyperspace and we will get to Erinim within a couple of seconds. It's only the one jump, so we shouldn't be too far away. Hopefully it will pull us out right next to the nav beacon, uh, which is usually next to the sun where we kind of get pulled out of hyperspace. Quick look around, see if anyone's about. Right, we are now no longer mass locked. Let's get the speed up. Frame shift drive is charging. And four, three, two, one, and off we go at super cruise speed. And then, as you know, we hit the next button and we go into jump speed. So now we're in hyperspace on the one jump to the Eridin system. Shouldn't take long to get there as it's the only one jump. And hopefully it will pull us out right next to the sun and the nav beacon. Fingers crossed. There's the sun. Where's the nav beacon? Let's not fly into that sun. Let's just steer our way away from the sun so we don't go into it. Hopefully we'll be able to search for that beacon. Oh no, we're going a bit too close to the sun. Let's turn that round and fly away. Okay, we're going away from the sun. Let's set up our directions to where we've got to go. We're not that far away from the nav beacon. 
Okay, so we're up the nav beacon now. We'll just slow down, just get the uh, safe disengage ready. There we go. Now we can pull out right next to the nav beacon, go up to it and scan it. And hopefully it'll let us know the location that Lindsay McClurg is in. We are going to come and destroy her. Okay, so the, uh, the nav beacon's been scanned and let's have a look. It says she's at Erinin 2. So Erinin 2 is, I think, one of the big planets in this system. So we'll have to head over towards that and see if we can uh, catch up with that far away it actually is. I think it's a couple of light years actually. Erin in two, let's lock the destination and then let's engage super cruise and head all the way over there. There it is. It is 575 light systems away. So that's going to take us about a year to get to there, unless we uh, jump to Super Cruise and then head there. Hopefully we're not going to get into any problems as we go there. And hopefully when we get there we'll either be pulled out of interdi with an interdiction where she's going to attack us or we can... Uh, Pull her out and start attacking her. So it says assassinate Pirate Lindsay McClurg. It says we've got to be there within a certain time limit, which we're well within the time limit, so there shouldn't be any issues there. And yeah. 117,000 credits, though. That's an awesome bounty, that is. Right, let's slow it down. No, 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 no. We've overshot the mark again. For goodness sake. Let's slow it down. Loop the loop. Slow down. Right, we're only nine light systems away now, so we've got to slow right down. And then, hopefully, the, uh, the mission will update as to where this space pirate is. She could be anywhere. She could even just suddenly jump out and start attacking us. Okay, there's someone called Robin, his Sidewinder. There's a, an Alliance Enforcer Vulture ship. There we go. New data has been discovered. So, I'm guessing it's going to tell us where she is. Uh, let's have a look at our map. The unidentified signal. I think that's where we've got to head to. The unidentified signal source is doing weapon to be fire detected. So this could be it, guys. She could be here. Okay, safe disengage is ready. So let's pull ourselves out of hyperspace. Let's have a look. There's the allied police forces. We don't want to attack them because they're on our side. Let's have a look. We're going to have to tab through the ships to see who is who in this part of the uh, the system. Let's hope we can find her. Lindsay McClurg, where are you? We've come for your head. We are Erin in two. Let's lock the destination. Now that seems to go to that checkpoint a bit further away. All right, let's, uh, let's head over there then, towards this checkpoint. Because she doesn't seem to be in this part of the solar system, so she must have, she may have jumped or may have escaped where we were supposed to be landing. I don't know. Let's have a quick check on these two. No, they're both, they've got to be that Rob and that other uh, police thing. Let's slow down. Oh, hang on, that one. No, that's the Allied Police Force. Someone shooting. You could see fire, uh, gunfire there, or turret fire, so. Let's have a look. Assassinate the Pirate Lord. Scan complete, Commander. Your target's last known location is being uploaded to your system now. So someone's firing at that police. So I'm guessing that it could be a pirate. Who's that? Let's target that one. That's who's firing at the police. Can we target them? Let's just get this off so that we're not typing to them. That is Bonaparte. He's a Viper Mark IV. And he's wanted. 
Right, well, in that case, we don't want him shooting at the police, so let's see if we can take him down. This may be just a little bit of a bonus, because we can get the bounty from this guy, hopefully. Which is always good to uh, help add to our... Um, help add to our kind of money, credits. So let's see if we can destroy him. He doesn't seem to be that much of a uh, of an issue. He seems to be flying in front of us. He started attacking back there, so right, we're getting the good shots on him. Also, the uh, Allied police forces are starting to attack as well, I think, now. So they're kind of helping us out. I think as long as we get the final shot to destroy him, we will get the... Uh, the bounty. Someone else has just joined in the fight as well by the looks of it. I don't know whether we're doing someone else's mission here but Bonaparte is nearly down. He's got no shields left and we keep on shooting him on his hull and boom there he goes. 17 and a half thousand credits to be transferred to our bank account. Thank you very much. Well at least we've saved the police and right i suppose we should now kind of head off to uh to our next area so that we can go and get the actual mission that we're after the uh the head of lindsay mcclurg look at that we've just got a right load of bounties there just from that one guy seventeen and a half thousand credits plus some more for actually turning in the bounty and we are in the right place to find this Lindsay McClurg. Let's have a look. Where's Erin in 2? That's where we are. Okay, so. Ship scan detected. Someone's scanning our ship. Who's this? Uh, it's the Allied Police Forces. They didn't find anything on us this time. We've just helped them. They shouldn't have been scanning us. Okay, so. Let's, uh, let's get a bit of speed up. I think we can probably jump out of this area now. Before we do, let's just quickly tag these. That's the Allied Police. There's still another person here. So I don't know who it is. Right. Let's see if we can... Now, it's both Alloy Police Forces. I'm not going to pick up any of that white stuff that's on the... Uh, that's floating around in space, because it could become contraband, and then we could end up getting shot by the police. So we'll leave that. It's just space debris now from the, uh, the ship that we destroyed. So Bonaparte is probably flying about in space in little pieces. He's no longer Bonaparte. He's blown apart. Ah, oh, boom, boom. Right, let's go to Erin in 2. Off we go. Okay, so a quick little jump to uh, Erin in 2. And we've kind of just overshot it again. we just got to quickly go around. There we go. You can see we're right next to the planet. So let's slow it down so we don't go powering off down into the planet. Because I'm not too certain on how to land on planets, remember. This is like one of the things we haven't done yet. Maybe I should find a mission where we can go and land on a planet and do some donuts or something like that. Right, we're in space. There's Joseph. Let's scan him. He's an adder. He's clean. He's not wanted anywhere, so we'll leave him alone. Okay, so after that space battle that we had and then flew towards the planet, we have flown around aimlessly for quite a while and then the mission has now suddenly popped up on our screen so now hopefully fingers crossed touch wood and all that we should be able to head to take out this space pirate lindsay mcclurg she's been a bit evasive at the minute she kind of it's been getting us to uh, head to mission waypoints and once we've headed to the mission waypoint and pulled out of there she hasn't been there and there's been nobody in the actual uh, waypoint so I don't know whether that's like a bug within the game or whether we've just been unlucky and missed her but I didn't think you guys would want to see me just pulling in and out of hyperspace so we're gonna head towards this one which is uh, probably her next known location so hopefully we'll pull out of hyperspace at this one and she may be there so let's slow right down disengage hyperspace We've pulled out and there's gunfire going straight on, so 
There, it looks like there is a firefight going on here somewhere. So let's tap and have a look. There's Go Go Poo. There was Lindsay McClurg. Right, there she is. So there's someone called Go Poo and someone called Lindsay McClurg. And she's the one we want. That's our mission target and she is wanted. So let's just slowly fly up to her. Somebody else is attacking her. Right, let's get this done. Let's start attacking ourselves. Oh, she's coming straight at us. Wow. Right, let's quickly turn it around and see. Oh, someone's firing missiles at her. We need to get the kill. Because it's our mission. So, right, we took the shields down. Somebody's firing rockets at her. And we get the final kill. We get 9,600 credits for taking out the bounty. We also got the mission completed there for taking them out. So we need to head back to the uh, to the lab back in the uh, the other place to give the Aselius people the good news that we've taken out this pirate and they should be safe now while flying around in this star system. So there we go. We managed to take it down pretty quickly, to be fair. I don't know if it would have been so quick if somebody else hadn't have been using rockets and helped us out with it. But, uh, yeah, it was a pretty quick fight. It was over within seconds. But that was awesome. I'll tell you what, it gets the adrenaline going when you go into fight. So, let's see if we can get out of here now. Because I've got a feeling we've shot down the pirate leader. I think that she's going to have some friends who are not going to be too chuffed that we've just decimated her ship. So we need to quickly jump back to the Aselius Primus system away from this Erin in place so that we don't get attacked by her pirate friends. I'm sure that they are going to come and uh, head after us. So let's look and get into hyperspace as quick as we can, really. So here we go. Frameshift drives charging. We should be able to jump to hyperspace and hopefully we will come out of hyperspace near to the, uh, the landing bay that we need to get to. Okay, so the one little jump, not too far away. And hopefully it'll pull us out by the sun. Boom, we are by the sun, let's slow it right down. There's no pirates around by us. So the thing is, once we get to this, uh, to this hangar, we should be able to then hand in both missions. One for the bounty of that Bonaparte who we got and two, the bounty for Lindsay McClurg. So in total, this mission has pretty much got us just under 150 grand if we total everything up. It's just shy of 150 grand sort of thing. So that is awesome. That is really gonna go to helping the cause of upgrading our ship. And we need to just quickly jump to the Foster Research Lab. Okay, so nothing happened on the way there, so we're just going to quickly pull out of light speed and we should be pretty much right next to it. And you know what's going to happen here, we're just going to pull up to the Foster's Research Lab. Once we get to the 7.5 k out, we'll speak to them and then hopefully we'll try and land on their ship. I love the way that that Lindsay McClurg said, this will not end well for you. And then the next thing was, no, no. Right, well done, Commander. Our reports confirm that Lindsay McClurg has been eliminated. Your rewards are waiting and will be transferred once you complete the contact. So, as I say, we've got to head to the Foster Research Lab and speak to that fella there. Who is going to give us that amount of money? And there you go, you can see that he was telling us that it was at Erin in 2 where she was. So, if they know where she is, why don't they send the police straight to where she is? That's the crazy thing. And we've been promoted to mostly penniless. Well done, Commander, on your first trade rank promotion. The Pilots Federation has increased your trade rank to mostly penniless. So, all right, we're no longer penniless. We're just mostly penniless. So there we go. Right, we're at the, uh, the Foster Research Lab. Let's see if we can speak to them and request docking. Let's slow down, put the landing gear out. Let's talk to the lab. Foster Research Lab, this is Commander Emma. We wish to come aboard your fantastic space station. 
Please, can we have docking privileges? Boarding permission granted. There you go. Boom. Boarding permission granted. Let's go aboard. And now we've got to get to London Bay 2, which you can see is lit up for us. And we've now got to just come and fly in without crashing. Fingers crossed. And land the mission. Land, sorry, land the spaceship and hand in the mission. Right, so let's just line ourselves up. We're coming at a slight angle. We need to just kind of fiddle as we come in to the uh, to the landing bay. I'm actually kind of now getting the hang of landing, which you know it kind of helps that you're not going to keep crashing into the space station. It kind of gives you that confidence that you can pretty much land when you want. So let's slow it down now. We're coming in a little bit too quick. We're at 21 kilometers an hour. Let's slow down and start descending. Right, we have got the landing computer on. Let's go across to the middle and start coming down onto this landing pad. Funnily enough, for a change, we're actually facing the right way. This could probably be the best landing we've done to date. Right, let's let this get into the circle. And boom! What a landing! Best landing by far for anyone who's watched the previous six episodes. That is by far the best landing that we have done. Okay, so we have landed in the Foster's Research Lab. Now just taking us down to the bowels of their space station and they're going to congratulate us hopefully for killing this space pirate so that they're able to uh, fly without any problems within the star system so let's speak to the starport services okay so welcome to foster research lab I am pleased to welcome you to Foster Research Lab, Commander Ed Mao. Our economy is booming in Mao, so I hope you have plenty to trade. Right, we need to quickly refuel our ship again, and then we'll go to the mission board and hand in this mission. So let's refuel so that we can go with the next mission next time. And mission board, come on, give us this sweet, sweet money. Right, 27 grand for the bounties that we've collected there. So that's a bonus. We'll take that. Redeem all bounty vouchers. Yes, thank you very much. That takes us to 139,000 credits. And now it's time for the big one. 170,000 credits to go into our bank from doing this mission for killing Lindsay McClurg. Okay, a job well done. Commander M. Mao. Erin and Federal Bridge are showing signs of a period of economic bust. We've caused an economic bust by the looks of it. Acelius Prime Academy for Nova Shaped Pilots are experiencing increased growth, and that could lead to an economic boom. We've gained some faction. We've gained 117,000 credits, or 256,000 credits. Hopefully, we'll be able to upgrade our ship now. So, I hope to see you on the next episode. Till then, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Mao. Till next time, take care and bye for now.